population of a certain country is growing at 3.2% per year, that is, if A, at the beginning of a year, it is 1.032 times whatever initial amount you have at the end of the year, assume that 4.5 million now, what will be at the end of year one, year two, or two years, 10 years, and 100 years? So to think of it this way, like if we had one year and we end up with um, 1.032, we get about 1.032, but then what you have is 1.032 times 1.032. This is for two years, and then you get whatever you have. Uh, if we wanted two years, we take our initial amount, and then we just square it, and that's the shortcut instead of going through arithmetically through every single year, just square this, and then you take, take it times your initial amount, and that will give you the correct answer. All right, so for one year, all this is going to be as it's going to be um, for one, we're going to have 4.5. Why is it doing that? Okay. Times 1.032 raised to the first. So it's approximately just 4.64 million. So then what we have is we have two years, then we have 10, and then we have 100. So it's the same principle, except 4.5 times. 1.032 raised to the raised to the second 4.5 for 10 years times 1.032 raised to the tenth and for 100 4.5 times 1.032 raised to the hundred. So what do we end up with? Approximately, because we're rounding two decimal places. This ends up being 4.79 million. After 10 years, we have 6.17 million. And after 100 years, we'll have 105 million. So compound interest really pays off when you go out far. And that's it. All right, I hope this helped you out. Thanks for watching, and you have a great day.